Welcome to HUD's Housing Choice Voucher Overviews. This video will discuss how PHAs use the voucher management system to submit data on their Housing Choice Voucher program. What is the Voucher Management System, or VMS? VMS is the reporting and information management system used by the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, commonly known as HUD, for its Housing Choice Voucher programs. VMS is used to monitor and to manage individual public housing authorities' funding and use of vouchers in their HCV program. HUD's Financial Management System, or FMC, collects data through VMS, which enables HUD to determine obligations and disbursement of funds in a timely manner, based on actual PHA voucher use. Public Housing Authorities, or PHAs, are required to report in VMS on a monthly basis. VMS can be accessed on HUD's home page at this link. Click Login Here and enter your login information. It may be helpful to bookmark the login page for easy access each month. Data collection is open between the 4th and the 22nd of each month. PHAs must submit their data by the 22nd. It's important to submit data as early as possible during the reporting period. When you log in to VMS, you'll need to select your PHA. You will have access to all reports that have been previously submitted and the report to be submitted for the current month. If a prior month correction, PMC, is needed, select the month to make appropriate corrections. To submit data for the current month, select the appropriate report for the current month. On the current month's report, you will see seven tabs across the top of the screen. Five of these tabs require data entry. The first tab is titled Voucher UML and HAP. This tab is where PHAs report various data points related to their voucher use, including unit month's leased information and housing assistance payment funding amounts. Any increase or decrease in UMLs or HAP expenses from the previous month must be accompanied by comments which support the data entered. Comments must be clear and concise. The next tab is titled Other Income and Expenses. This is where a PHA reports on income and expenses other than funds used for HAP. Any changes in income expenses must include comments that explain the change in the following tab titled Additional Expense Comments. In this tab, you will provide comments to explain any changes in amounts reported from the previous month. It is the PHA's responsibility to provide reports which are clear to the approvers and reviewers for all line items, including providing supporting comments which clearly explain the PHA's situation. This is particularly important information because it's reviewed by HQ and others to help determine the financial needs of the PHA. For example, if a PHA reports a negative UNP balance, they must provide a comment to explain why the balance is negative. An acceptable comment might read, UNP negative due to OPEB and pension liabilities, or UNP negative due to GASP 68 and 75 reporting requirements. Notice how both of these comment examples are clear and concise. The Disaster UML and HAP tab is for reporting on the PHA's Disaster Voucher Program, DVP. The EHVP, UML, and HAP tab is used for reporting data related to the PHA's Emergency Housing Voucher Program. Lastly, the PHA Contact Information tab is where a PHA reports any changes in contact information. Contact information can be changed by the PHA in this tab at the time of monthly data submission. There are two places where PHA contact information can be changed. Any contact information that is changed on the PHA Info tab at the time of the monthly submission will remain changed permanently. However, if a PHA updates their contact info via a PMC, it will only save for one month before it reverts to information that the system administrator entered. 
If a PHA wants to make long-term changes to contact information, they should contact their PIC coach to request that permanent change be made in the system. Reported VMS data is reviewed, approved, and disapproved in VMS secured systems by FMC Financial Analyst, or FAs. FAs review data for accuracy, reasonableness, completeness, clear and concise supportive comments which address any changes, increase decrease of UMLs, and HAP, and more. FAs utilize several reports that pull data from VMS reporting. The Budget Formulation Forecasting, BFF report, the VMS Straight Face report, and the VMS Quality Assurance, QA, report will indicate any reporting errors or issues with the data that the PHA is reporting. If a PHA reports an increase or a decrease in certain data points from previous months, this will show as an error in the reports reviewed by the FA. PHAs must include comments to explain the change in data reported. If no comments are provided, the FA will notify the PHA that there is an error and the reported data for the current month is out of range. The PHA then has a chance to add comments to support the data reported. The FA will then review the comments and update the BFF, VMS Straight Face, and VMS QA reports to reconcile the errors. In this example, the PHA reported that they incurred total expenses of $1 million last month and $2 million this month. This would show up as an error, out of range. The FA would reach out to the PHA to notify them of this error and prompt them to provide comments explaining why there is an error. An example comment for this scenario might be, Due to the loss of tenant employment and increased rents, HAP expenses increased. The FA would then review the comments and update reports to reconcile the error. For more detailed instructions on how to navigate VMS, see HUD's VMS User's Manual at this link. This concludes the presentation on HUD's Voucher Management System. To learn more about the HCV program, please visit hud.gov forward slash HCV.